Congratulations, you now have an about page in your app. But right now, it looks kind of plain, doesn't it? So that leads me to your next challenge, to style up the about page and make it look great using everything you've learned so far. Here's some tips about the styling. For the bullseye heading with the emojis, set the font to Arial Rounded MT Bold, size 30, and the color to black. Also add 20 points of padding to the top and bottom. For the other text views, set the font to Arial Rounded MT Bold, size 16, the color to black, and add 60 points of padding to the leading and trailing, and 20 to the bottom. Set the background color of the VStack to FFD6B3. Remember how you can convert that to a color using a Google search, and then make a property to store that color. When you're done, you'll notice that there's two issues remaining. First, the text and the labels won't quite fit on the screen. And second, there will be some annoying white space in the background. But don't worry about that. I'll show you how to fix those issues in the solution. This challenge should be some more practice with view modifiers in SwiftUI. Pause the video and give it a shot. Good luck. All right, so we want to style this uh, about view, right? So I'm going to, just to save some time, I'm going to go over here and grab one of these existing view modifiers and go back to my about view and paste it. Now remember, we want it to be inside the about view itself. And so we'll call this first one the about heading style. And we do want to use arrow rounded empty bold. We want the size to be 30. We want the foreground color to be black. Uh, we don't want this shadow and we want padding. This time we want top 20 and we want some more padding for bottom 20. So now we can copy this example and make the about body style. We want Arial Round Empty Bold and size 16 this time. We still want the color to be black and we want the padding on leading to be 60 and trailing to also be 60. And finally, we want padding on the bottom to be 20. And now all we need to do is apply the right style to each line. So for the first line, it's going to be the about heading style. Okay, so the text is starting to look good. Now let's look into that background color we wanted to use. So if we go back to Google and we search for FFD6B3, we get the colors that we want to use. So the values in RGB are 255, 214, 179. So back to Xcode. And so we can define a new color up here for us to use. We'll call it beige. So it's 255, 214, and 179. All right, now at the bottom of our V stack, we can just set the background color. Remember, a background can be either a color or an image. Resume the automatic previewing and we see our beige background color behind the text. As I mentioned in the intro of this challenge, there's still some annoying white space in the background. What's happening here? Well, most views in SwiftUI expand to be big enough to fit their content. For example, we never specified the size of any of the text views or buttons in the app. Instead, we set some content inside like text or sometimes even images, and those views grew to fit their content. The same thing applies for vStacks and hStacks. They grow to be big enough to fit their content. In the About view here, content inside the vStack doesn't fill up the whole screen, so we see the default white color in the background. We now need some kind of view whose only purpose is to act as a container for the background image that expands to fill the entire screen. Luckily, there's a type of view called Group, and it's used to group views together. It also expands to fill the view which contains it, which would be the entire screen. This sounds perfect for us, so let's try it out. Okay, so to wrap this in a group, all we gotta do is make a group right here. 
indent all that with command bracket. And now we can set a background on the group. And this time we're gonna use an image. And we're gonna use just that same background image that we were using on the main app of Bullseye. And nice, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can fix the line limits. Now, last time I tried this, it was broken in a previous build of uh, Xcode, but maybe it'll work now. <laughs> Let's give it a try. But in theory, you should be able to say line limit and nil when you have a label so that it will automatically expand to multiple lines rather than getting a dot, dot, dot like it does here. So fingers crossed. Well, looks like it's still not working. So I tested this, I think it was in beta three or beta four of Xcode and it was working for me then. And now it's not. So I don't know if there's a bug in Xcode or maybe there's a different way to do this that I'm not understanding to make a link on to multiple lines. If anyone figures it out, leave a note in the comments. But otherwise I'm gonna chalk it up to potentially a bug in Xcode at the moment. All right, but anyway, our about screen is looking really great and we're almost done with the app.